Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? I hope you're having a good day. Um, I wanted to just get ready with you. That's all. That's all I'm doing right now. Um, I am going to be using a palette, which I've been doing a lot lately, um, that is an older palette, but it's one of my all-time favorites. And I thought, you know, go back to some of those originals, especially since I've repurchased them. And uh, that is the Chanel Mystic Eyes palette. And I think it's such a favorite. It's been in their line and still is in their line for as long as I've known Chanel and since they've had their quads. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I want to also show... Can we just slow down? I am so hyper, y'all. I just, I know that I am. Today I've already put on my foundation, which was Lancome. My blush, which was by Terry. And I think it's interesting. It's very understated. I also use their concealer. And if you're wondering, where'd you get all that? I don't know if y'all remember this, because it's been quite a while. Um, I got it from um, a purchase that I made, and I got a gift with purchase little pouch, and y'all, all of that was in there. Of course, they're sample size, but still, Bateri is a real expensive line, and so I'm, I'm finding it interesting to try this stuff. I don't want to fall in love with any of it, Ashley. I also thought I would show y'all. I've talked about this I don't know how many times. This is like Lazy Susan style. It spins. This is a... Um, from Pampered Chef, it's a utility, um, not kitchen utensils, sorry. Um, kitchen utensils um, holder. And I use it because I have so many makeup brushes. And so I went through and pulled out, believe it or not, a lot of, um, let me kind of let you see down in it. I'll angle it so you can see it. Um, I pulled out some that I feel like I don't use. The ones I use the most... Um, this isn't a makeup brush uh, review, but I will just show you the, the spinner. In the front, these are all my um, rose gold or copper Sigma brushes. Um, as you turn here, here's my original set of Sigma brushes in this baby pink. Also throughout here, you'll see uh, there's some Mo Morphe. There is Chanel. There is Makeup Geek. There is Kat Von D. There is... Um, I forgot what these are called. Um, te um, Real Techniques. There's MAC. Very little MAC, actually. And that was so popular for so long. There's some, uh, there was a, um, what was her name? Because this was Sonia Kashuk. That was one that I got for a while. And look at that beautiful set. Um, one, there's a few other brush sets that I have that are not in here. So, because they're so pretty, I never use them. Is that just crazy? These are the ones I use the most. And It Cosmetics is in here, represented fairly, fairly well. So when y'all see me reach to the right, this is my makeup brushes that I'm reaching to the right. And um, I decided to reorganize them. I'm keeping them over here. Whoa, comment below if you want to see the other brush sets that I don't use. Because they're so pretty. Uh, one of them, I think, was um, from uh, Morphe. And it was um, Jaclyn Hill or... But, and it was rhinestones on the bottom. It was very short-lived, and I didn't get it from their website. I had to get it on either eBay or Amazon or somewhere because they sold out, and it's just so pretty. And then the other one, well, just comment below if you're interested because there's no point in talking about them if you're not interested. Or if you can't see them, it's like, Beth, that's very nice of you to talk so much. I'd like to see the brush set. So just let me know if you want to see the, the fancy brushes that I never use brush set. I also have a um, this kind of rose gold style it's, I think it's called Black and Copper on Sigma Beauty's uh, website. Um, I have another set of these, probably even a newer set. So, I don't know. This is pretty new. Um, in my dressing area that I keep just for when I get, ma uh, get married. <laughs> when I get ready in there instead of in here with you. So, that being said, I am going to drink another sip of coffee. The other thing that I do keep handy... Um, and y'all have seen this before, is my little, um, I need to add some, my little cotton buds. And these are not your regular, like, Q-tip cotton buds. These are flat on one side, and then on the other, they're pointed. And I just keep these very, very handy 
because there's always makeup boo-boos and it's good to catch them right when they first happen and they're wet and you can get them off unless certain kinds where it makes sense to let them dry. Um, what was the other thing I was going to show you? Oh, and the other thing that I always keep handy is a black. Um, it doesn't have to be black. It can be gray. It can be anything but light colored. Uh, makeup um, towel. Wash rag, really. Is this the... Yeah. There was one. I don't have it handy. Y'all have seen I bought, I think, one or two of them. Um, once when I was in Charleston, they had them where I was staying. And they actually have embroidered on the makeup. And I think that's because they put them, if I remember correctly, in each one of the rooms so that you would not use their nice white plush towels because it's a nice bed and breakfast. And I'm noticing more and more um, hotels are doing this. They'll have a dark one so that you'll go, what's that? And they say, please use, they have a little thing that says, please use this for removing your makeup if you do so. I remove my makeup with my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. But... Um, I do when I'm at a hotel that offers though, and I, honestly, I just try to take one with me. I do for just when I'm getting ready and I wipe, you know, my hands or, you know, if I have a boo-boo and I wipe, whatever. I don't use someone's white towels and I don't use my white towels at home. The reason I like white towels, if you're wondering why do you have white towels, because you can bleach them. And so they wash better and they dry and they smell like hotel towels because they bleach theirs. You know, that smell that everybody's like, oh, that smells so good. That's, that's actually just bleach. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Um, like I said, I've already done face makeup, and so I'm just adding now. This is the, let me just, it has its little Chanel um, sponge applicator, which I do like. And I do, if I don't really carry a quad in my purse anymore, and the reason is because, um, it used to crumble, and it was just like, why are you carrying that? You've already done your eyes. You're not probably going to even touch up color. Why would you carry it? So the only thing that I carry makeup-wise that is um, a compact is my Chanel blush, because sometimes I do touch up my blush, and also it's a compact to have handy. But anyway, this, I'll keep it next to my face, because I've noticed when I do forward like that and try to do this to block the camera so that it will focus, it takes forever, and y'all, like, I can't even see that when you could have seen it just fine. Oh, my gosh. I've lost a diamond in my writing band. And y'all were there. I lost a diamond. That's my, actually, it's my engagement ring. I did an engagement band instead of a solitaire, and it's gone. Okay. I'm sad. I'm not going to start over filming, so you were just there for me in my sad moment. I guess I'm going to go check the bed and see if I can feel it there, because if it's falling in the carpet, there's no finding it, because we have shag, a low shag. No finding it. So that maybe to look in the vacuum cleaner. Gosh. Sorry, I will move on. Say a little prayer off on my diamond. They're not cheap to replace. I don't know. That's really sad. Okay, sorry. This is number 14, Mystic Eyes Quad, and it's called Le Four, or Quattro, Ombre, Quattro Eyeshadow. Okay. It's all in French. That's the only thing I don't like. Maybe I'm just going to only do American so I can actually understand it. Or maybe I should learn more French. Okay. So I'm going to start out with the lightest color, and I'm going to be using a, a medium angled shading brush, which is an E70. And I'm going to start with this little light pink color, and it's just it's just to dust. Whoops. Hold on. Something got all over that just then. I'm not having a good time. But, you know, that's life, so I'm just going to not have a good time with y'all. So I'm just going to go in a little circular motion, load up the brush, tap it so it doesn't have fall out, and go right under the brow. This is a very pale, almost not noticeable pink. Then I'm going to do the inner corner and brush it over the lid. And then I'm going up where I would line the eye. The reason I do that is so that you don't have a bunch of dark color that accidentally like gets stuck. And this lighter color back here just kind of brightens up this back area. Um, I don't do a lot because that's also, you know, right above your crow's feet. In some circumstances it is where your crow's feet are and you don't want to highlight them. But like I said, this is a very pale pink. But I'll do that anyway. I'm going to do two passes because it is so pale. 
and I'm going back and forth to just really work it into the skin and make sure it gets in. Okay, and then the inner corner, straight up and down, over the lid, and then again, right by the nose and right past the eye, just to kind of, and sometimes you can just brush over the whole area, just to kind of, what it does is it puts powder down. I don't know if y'all noticed, I was already creasing from where I had that concealer that I just rubbed over my lid. If you'll go ahead and, and just kind of brush through with some powder, it absorbs, absorbs moisture so that when you come with color later, it's not patchy. It's not sticky, so it's not patchy when you put the color on. So that's that. And then I'm going to use my famous, favorite transition brush. And that is my Large Fluffy E50 from Sigma Beauty. This is one of my all-time favorite brushes just because it is so big that it covers that area real easily. And I'm going to use, whoa, I almost just dropped that on a white shirt. What is the problem today? I'm going to use this next color right here. This kind of like taupey. These, by the way, do have a bit of shimmer, but they're not sparkly. So I think that's a nice, you know, it's pretty, but it's not, you know, like sparkly. And I'm just going right up in this transition area right here. And then I'm coming out and coming back in just to make sure it blends in. And it's right under where I just did that um, that highlighter. And it just makes a transition from the highlighter to whatever color you're fixing to put in your crease. So you, that's why you put it in between. Just kind of do that. Okay. And you're also getting right under the front of the brow right there so that it will all blend in. All right. And then next I am going to get a, um, a shader brush. I have a couple of ones that I use, but my favorite, as y'all know, is the um, tapered shading brush, and this is an E45, and this is so old, y'all, and it has held up so well. You can see it's actually tapered. I don't know if you can see that. Versus dome-shaped. Here's a dome-shaped one. This is the Buff and Blend, which is an E39. See how that, let me put them next to each other so you see the difference. 